Despite the fact that there was no official IHSA postseason for girls bowling last season, it remained a memorable year for Matia Valley girls bowling and standout Sydney Lewis. During the condensed season, the Mustangs not only won the DuPage Valley Conference for a third consecutive year, they proved to be among the best teams in the state. While there was no official state tournament, there was a virtual state meet hosted by Nutrier, with over 80 teams competing at different bowling alleys, sending in scores to determine who would have been the top performers in Illinois. Matia Valley won the York Sectional Championship and finished in fourth place overall as a team. Sydney Lewis had the third best individual score, which would have tied the best state finish in program history, equaling Jordan Newham in 2014. On top of all that, Lewis also threw the first perfect 300 game in school history against Naperville Central in late February, a feat that will not be soon forgotten. Needless to say, the bar is set pretty high for this senior standout. With last season being so good, I'm like, I, I hope put a lot of pressure on myself to kind of one-up everything, and I know that's not always going to happen, but I try to just keep working on my consistency and just my technique and stuff. So, yeah. While Sydney's big breakout season did not come until her junior year, Matia Valley head coach Kristen Mansmith saw the potential for greatness developing for years. Sydney's been bowling a long time. She did youth bowling as a child. She um, was interested in elementary school and middle school. I've known her since she was in elementary school. Um, so from that standpoint, like we've always known that that time was gonna come where she would be with us. So I think just from the start, um, there's always been that interest and love and, and she's got a competitive spirit to her. While bowling can be an individual sport, there is also a very important team dynamic to keep everyone's energy, confidence, and enthusiasm elevated throughout the day. Lewis not only helps the Mustangs with her soaring scores, she lifts the spirits of her fellow bowlers. Sydney is just, she's very consistent. She's also very keep calm and cool. She can throw 12 strikes in a row and be as calm as she can with the last strike. Like, she knows how to string things together. She's just very consistent and a very great bowler, as well as a really good person. And even when we get down on ourselves, Sydney's always there to be like, it's okay, don't worry, so. An aspiring teacher, Sydney is already passing down lessons on how to dominate on the lanes, while putting Matia Valley in contention for another shot at state, along with fellow seniors Jasmine Allen and Elizabeth Mansmith. She right now, between her and Elizabeth and Jasmine, my entire screen is lit up in green because every 200 game it automatically turns green and it's like the top three rows are just huge. So I, it's amazing to watch compared to even a couple years ago. We know what we need to do uh, and we know what we need to practice. It's just being able to capitalize and do that when it's game time and I think we've been really good at that so far starting the season, so I'm really excited to see where we go. Regardless of how the rest of the season plays out, Sydney Lewis has already left a major mark on the Matia Valley Bowling history books and will certainly inspire future generations of student athletes. I'm planning on going to ISU. They do not have a bowling team, but they do have a club uh, that does go to tournaments throughout the year. So I am going to keep with it uh, and then maybe come back and coach in the future. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Justin Cornwell.